Hi, welcome back. Um, back in camp. Collect your stuff. Always do the collections. Uh, hasn't been that long since I last left. <laughs> last left you. Um, so not going to be much change here. Uh, we still need. Uh, what was it? Fifteen hundred. Oh, four thousand. Four thousand tomatoes. Uh, right now our max storage is four thousand. So we'd have to fill that. Craziness. So what we'll do is go over to our storage and see that we need 2400 to upgrade it. So we'll probably do that. We'll upgrade our storage before we try to upgrade our council. Just because it's going to be a long haul to get uh, that many tomatoes very quickly. But we're going to be working on that, so that's going to start being homework now. Unfortunately, it's, it's time has come. Um, we may also uh, build our uh, workshop. Yeah, we're going to do the workshop right now. We've got enough tomatoes for it. Hey, it fits there. It's there. We're going to work on our camp later on. It's an hour for workshop, so... Our homework now is going to be to increase our uh, weapons and gear when we can. Um, but first, of course, we got to get weapons and gear. And uh, like Dawn has a, a rifle she can get. Um, let's see. Her level one rifle. We can't uh, upgrade it until our workshop is done. That's going to be an hour. So we have a lot of time to kill before she can be upgraded. And to that effect, we need EXP. So we have 9,000 storage that we can use. We have 4,000 tomatoes we can get. We have the challenges to start here pretty soon. Uh, we're going to try to increase our level of 3 before we go into the challenges at the very minimum. So... And we don't want to use our radio tents until we uh, increase our council and our survival level a little more. It will help you out immensely to wait. A little patience on that will serve you a lot better than trying to go and get it now. Because, uh, like I say, right now, our max level is 10, it looks like, with our uh, survivors. Um, it might be a little higher with the legendary. It might be to 11. But, like I say, just showing a little patience, we can increase that quite a bit before we start spending our radios. And, like I say, we're just going to be using one radio calls right now. We're not, you know, since we only are able to get three different survivors, as you can see from our thing here, we can only get scouts, bruisers, and hunters. And what we want to try to do is maximize how many hunters we get for right now. We're also going to need to extend our survivor slots, and we do that with gold is one way and another way is with the outpost it'll give us three extra slots and three extra survivors which is always good because we're going to need them but we don't want to play outpost if we can't right now because that'll be another whole <laughs> thing that you have to worry about keeping your you know track of your tg you know trying to build your outpost and your walkers and everything else that goes along with it but we'll get into that very shortly and, you know, like say a flurry of activity right now, that's the stuff that you can do. But like I say, show a little patience, we'll get through it. And later on, you'll be like, there's nothing to do in the game. All I'm doing is farming and this and that. So one way or the other, you know, but we'll get through it all very quickly. Um, so we'll go back to our map, go into our missions. And like I say, we're discussing whether to keep pushing for the next mission or to just break off and start, you know, farming for uh, tomatoes or EXP or the deadly. The deadly we're going to hold off until we get a little better gear. Um, I'm sure we can accomplish it without too much problem. It'll, you know, be a little better benefit. But I don't want a chance uh, losing any survivors and there's no reason to right now anyway. Uh, like I say, just show a little patience and then farm the heck out of it. Uh, and as you see from the timer, you know, we still have four minutes till we get another gas. And max is nine, so it's all right. 
Um, so we'll just get into this one. Again, using the same survivors. Nothing's changed. Um, and we don't have to worry about the uh, time in the hospital or uh, losing a survivor doing regular missions anyway, so it's all good. Survivor, you know, time in the hospital isn't very long at low levels, so. This is a very good map to farm with uh, the hunters. So we're going to get into that a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to farm it too much right now. You should. I'll show you how to do it. Um, on this level, especially, you know, you can keep farming probably for a few more levels. As you see, there's level three and four walkers here. So uh, what's going to happen is... Uh, we're going to take a little bit of time to uh, mow these guys down since we're kind of a low level for this uh, map. So usually I'd open the gate and start going through and mangling these uh, zombies, but I only have one hunter at the moment. Uh, we got five turns. Yeah, well, let's we'll start. Because we'll probably farm it from the top, but we're going to have some running from us at the bottom also. All right. Um... We'll use Tim since he has time. So what we want to do is try to farm or uh, hit as many uh, zombies as we can with uh, our hunter. And... What we're going to do is use Tim to block off the exit here. So the next turn, uh, Joel will kill. I mean, well, shouldn't overwatch anyway. Um, let's use up his AP there. What we'll do is use Tim to kill the first one, use Joel to kill the second one, and use the hunter to kill a couple more of these guys hopefully over here I'm just trying to clear down our numbers a little bit um gonna go through that way so it looks like a better shot there we go all right so hopefully we'll get two kills with okay what we're gonna try to do is use our ap to that's why i'm not gonna do it that's fine i was trying to avoid getting too you know, I was trying to get to the other side of the zombie there. So that way he wouldn't get a shot on me. But he moved away anyway, so it's all good. So, like I say, we're just trying to clear out space for our guys. Thin down the herd a little bit. We got two turns before the zombies. And they are going to appear right below us. So, I'm going to use Tim to open up the... Uh, And use Tim to open up the chest if it'll pop on it. Come on. I did a second ago. Being difficult being there we go. I don't know why that was so hard. Hmm. So what we're gonna do with uh Joel is activate his ability and we're gonna end the turn. And when he attacks one of these zombies, if they come close enough, it should be a full hit instead of half a hit. This is a glitch. It happens. Uh, it used to be that it would not uh, register. You know, it wouldn't take away your special ability. But now it does. I think so. But we don't have a chance to test it this time. But we are going to use Don's ability and clear out a lot of these zombies. Now, if this was a level 4 zombie up here that wasn't already hurt, I would use Joel's ability. Let's make sure it's turned off. That's all I was doing. Because I don't want to use it right now because it's a or it, this is already a guaranteed kill. I could have used uh, Tim for this. But that's all right. I'm not going to send uh, Joel into that pack of uh, walkers over there. 
it would have been two hits on him, and that probably would have been enough to damage him severely, which no reason for that. We're going to have Walker spawning behind us, so now it's going to be kind of a rush to uh, finish out this level. But with plenty of time, I mean. You know, generally, uh, with higher level uh, hunters, you would uh, clear this level very quickly and not even worry about it. So, just using the quick movement to get up there, get a better angle. Shoot both of these guys. Even if I got a body shot, would follow up with uh, Tim and Joel to, you know, clean them up. So, we're going to have a zombie down there, but obviously I don't think it's going to be close enough to be able to come back and attack now. He's pretty far down there, so we're just going to keep our guys at a distance. And move in as fast as possible now. So we have a chest up on top and chest on the bottom. So we are going to use uh, Don here to get the zombie and we'll use get over there. Oh, oh wow. I didn't think he was gonna be able to get that far. Nice. Try to click on Joel there. Cooperating. There we go. So now our exit is clear. We're ready to run if we need to. So we can use uh, our hunter to effect. And that will be to start uh, killing as many zombies as we can as they come popping out. Usually you'll want uh, your hunter to be where Tim is at, either right there and one, you know, right here at the bottom of the chest and fire inside and you'll be able to wipe them out as they spawn you know until of course they get to too high level but then like I say uh, that'll be for later but then like I say you just keep whittling them down as they spawn and you know and then move up and start firing across like uh, she'll be doing now and I'm not going to use either of my melee for this because once they get too far along I'm just going to be running anyway so right now it's just a uh, turkey shoot, if you will. You're just going to be uh, farming these guys. And that's all you're going to be doing is collecting EXP. Your guys are on your exit now, so you know you hit end turn, and they'll be every time. Just line up your shot with your hunter. Like that body shot, it doesn't matter. End turn, you'll get them on the next time. So for this one, we're just going to move down one, so that way it's a clear line. We don't have to worry about, you know, the angle messing it up. Even if it was a body shot, you'd already done over 50% damage. So it doesn't matter. I'm just going to end the turn. No other zombies. Oh, there, one other zombie did come up. Um, I'm going to start moving her down. Just to show you the uh, spot here. Just use one AP. Because I'm still going to... Okay, moved him up. He should uncover the zombie, hopefully. There we go. Yeah. Give you the best angle on it. So they're going to spawn this next turn. And you'll see right there is a very good angle if you had wide bore. Uh, one of the weapon traits on the hunter, you would have been able to take out most of those guys with one shot, just like that. And let's move it over here so you can see. Like I say, you know, the best place would have been right in that little corner there. But we'll get there next turn and at the bottom corner. So like right now, all you're trying to do is do the most amount of damage you can to them before they start popping out. So right there is a good angle. As you see, I'm not aiming at the last guy. I'm aiming at the uh, second to the last. So that way you get a better angle on all of them. So that way you'll more than likely hit all four of them. Just like that. So then, once it's at this point, you know, when you hit in turn, they'll probably be up around the corner. That's when you use uh, Old Don back up around the top.
Just do a half turn, then uh, just get the angle. And you'll either hit one or two. If another one got uncovered, you would hit two. But we'll get him next turn. So again, just hit in turn. At this point, because the second one is full health, I'm going to use her crit. Hopefully, uh, it, it w should kill all of them at once. You know, then you just build up your uh, crit again. You know, when they on the next respawn, and you know you're not going to get as many spawns next time, but the one after that will probably be huge. You know, depending on how many shots it takes for you to uh, kill the zombies coming out. So I think that was it. So I'm going to end it here. If you wanted to, you could keep going back down and trying to farm. And you'll know when it's time to leave when you're not doing enough damage to uh, severely hurt the zombies. You know, you can take five or six shots to kill them. Like I say, you'll know when it's time to run. Just run to the exit, you know, just head over there. So if you want to keep farming, feel free. You'll probably get another two or three levels of uh, zombies that you'll be able to kill pretty easily. And like I say, you know, right now that's what we need is EXP and tomatoes. So if you can get either one, it's good. So again, you watch the video now. If you're going to keep uh, doing farming missions, then you'll want to save it for one where uh, you have a lot of uh, tickets on the side that you haven't gotten when your first three choices. So got to have that in consideration. But like I say, it's going to be a lot of farming from, from now on. And we'll also start going into uh, challenges as soon as we get another level. So, you know, Star Trek The Next Frontier here is getting a lot of bonus footage for free because you'll be viewing this while you're listening to me. But it's over, thankfully. And so will this video, so you don't have to listen to me anymore. Um, so it doesn't matter which three... Uh, chests you pick after videos or at the beginning you can do it any way you want the outcome will be the same it's already predetermined basically it's numbered one through nine so it doesn't matter which one you pick first that'll still be number one chest two will be number two three it doesn't matter what order you pick them in that's the way you're going to get them so there's that it's already predetermined there's no random generated uh equipment here at the end you'll get the same stuff no matter which chest you pick, one through nine. So don't don't obsess over how you pick the chest. Just pick the chest. Don't have to waste time doing it. And the Red Circle of Death. Again, your constant companion at the end of the missions. Be staring at that probably uh, almost as much as everything else. So go back to camp, collect your stuff, your EXP, your tomatoes, your walkers. There we go. You know, like I say, we're trying to build up. Um, it's going to take a while. We still have 44 minutes left on our uh, our training or our, our blacksmith upgrading our weapons. Um, so nothing but time to kill. So start farming. You know, feel free to start farming. Go to the map. Uh, Hit the EXP and the uh, tomato farms, or, you know, tomato missions. And try to fill up that tomato meter. I mean, like I say, we got 4,000 max storage to go right now. And we're going to try to increase that with uh, our storage supply here. That's yeah, going to cost 2,400, so we got 2,000 tomatoes to go, roughly. And we have 43 minutes left before we can do that, so plenty of time to farm. So get on that farmer's hat, get your pitchfork, and start farming. And I'll catch you down the road. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.